In this presentation I'd like to show you what you should do at the start of every laboratory. So you'll go to Blackboard, fire up the maths course and then you'll look for the laboratory section and within the laboratory section you'll see that there's a zip file. So it's quite likely every now and then that zip file will be updated so if that's the case then you should download it again. So first time or subsequent downloads you should right mouse click over the name of the zip file and then I'm using Mozilla as my browser here so selecting the save target as menu item will then present me with the file browser. Now it's important that you store this particular file on your personal H drive. So locate the H drive and it's good practice to create a folder within that H drive so right mouse click within the file browser and have it dedicated to the sort of activities we might be doing in the Math1 laboratories. So I've created the folder, selected it and now I'm just going to save the contents into that folder. Meanwhile I'm going to go into Internet Explorer go to the H drive, locate the folder I've just uh, created in the Explorer and you'll see that the zip file is in the folder and it's clearly a zip file here so now we need to unzip the contents of that file so if you right mouse click then it'll present somewhere on that list some sort of zip utility so I've got a program called WinZip so if I just say extract to here it will open up the contents of the zip file and expand it out into this particular folder on my H drive. Now when that's completed I can now begin to open up the file space by first of all locating the file called index.mn so double clicking on that will first of all fire up MATLAB and this is normally quite slow but eventually it will also fire up MuPad and the corresponding file that I've asked it to open up will be presented. So at this point I would also open up another MuPad window because that's where I'm going to do my learning. So this will be an empty scratch pad where when I see things in the window that's got content then I'll just cut and paste them. So if I go into the contents of that document, all the links should work. Now if the links don't work, it's because you haven't saved it onto the H drive, or you're clicking through the zip file, or I've just made a mistake. So hopefully there won't be too many of those. But make sure you've saved it onto the H drive make sure you've unzipped it and then hopefully everything should work as it was meant to work. So let's just go through the motions of showing how you might copy and paste something that you might discover for the first time in the contents of this document. Okay, so here is some red text which we now know is corresponding to input into MuPad. If I copy that into my scratchpad window, hit return, it'll do something. And at the end of every session, as a final action, do file save as to somewhere on that H drive and that way you can come back and recapture your thoughts at a later date.